it's been a pivotal place in Seattle's history. The voices are still loud. I think sort of hear the echoes of the past. I got a woman way over town. Like Ray Charles. Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't treat me so mean. Jimmy. And Ernestine Anderson. I'm so tired of paying these dues. They all played at this building in the Central District. The first jazz documented jazz performance in Seattle occurred right here on this stage. Billie Holiday played here, Duke Ellington played here, Count Basie played here, Lightning Hopkins played here. At one point in Seattle's segregated history, it was the only place where African American musicians could perform. Oftentimes, whether it was explicit or implicit, were not able to play other places, but they were allowed to play here at Washington Hall. And it is why there must be some kind of way out of here. Kai Kelly and others have fought to preserve this piece of history. There's certainly a social history that makes it really important to save. Today, the decaying building got a potential reinforcement from King County in a most unusual way. You remember the kingdom? <laughs> okay. Well, it's paid for. Uh. <laughs> County Exec Dow Constantine announced the bonds on the 1994 Kingdom renovation have finally been paid off. You know, that building that hasn't existed for 15 years. We have the success of tourism to thank. Hotel motel taxes exceeded projected collections, and thanks to a state law, a one-time $20 million surplus will go to an arts and cultural grant program. She give me money. With these funds, knock on some historic wood here, we're, we're hoping to be able to really use those funds to substantially finish this thing now. Kelly, who runs Historic Seattle, says just a portion of the money. It was in rough shape. Bones of the building are fine. Will likely fully restore the building to its former glory. His crew has already done preliminary work and believes the demise of one building will give another new life. The irony doesn't escape me. In Seattle. Chris Daniels, King 5 News.